Hey everybody, this is Pete Wenzel and today I'm going to show you how to get some plants into our illuminated landscape. How to set up the lighting will not be part of this video. If you're interested in this topic, check out my linked video. Add a new collection and change the name. We call it Plants. Then toggle everything else. Import the object by using File, Append, Object and then select the one you're going to use. In my case it is called Plant Underline Grass. Keep in mind that you have to create this object first before you're able to import it. You can model the grass with the workflow I've used in the linked video. Oh, this is often happening to me. I don't know why I always import the one by one tile. So if someone knows, please tell me via a comment. And just remove it. For a better overview, move the grass to the world origin. And for this tutorial, I will remove the current material. Go to the scene collection. Select the emitter of the particles, go to Particle tab and hide the first particle system in the viewport. This is a good moment to change the name as well. Particle Landscape Duplicate this particle system by left click on the small arrow and select Duplicate Particle System. What we get is a second particle system slot at our object which is linked to the same particle system. This means, if I'm going to adjust one particle system, the other will change too because they are both instances of the same system. Therefore, we have to duplicate the particle settings by clicking the icon with the two documents. And afterwards we rename it. Particle Grass. Now we can adjust them independent from each other. Change the chosen collection in the render settings from bricks to plants. And we get a lot of grass there. Now reduce the number of particles and select random order. Now enable the first particle system again and oh, that's not good. They are placed in each other. We should change it, but what's the right setting to adjust? If you like this video, share it with your friends, give me a thumb up and feel free to ask further questions in the comments below. If you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let's have a look how particle instancing works. We substitute the path of the hair with an object. The origin of the path is right on the surface of the emitter. And our object's origin is placed at the same position. That means if we would like to have the grass on top of the brick, its origin must be there. To fix this, toggle the current collection. We only want to see the grass and the brick. Select both and you see they have the same origin and they are currently overlapping. Select only the brick. Go to edit mode, select the top face. Shift S, cursor to select it and then object set origin, origin to 3D cursor. This now has fixed our problem, but for a better visualization I will move the objects to have their origins aligned again. Shift S, cursor to world origin and Shift S, selection to cursor. And after selecting both objects we see that it's working. We can double check it by going back to our scene collection and enable all particle systems. If you feel disturbed by the overlapping of the emitter plane, just disable it in the viewport. On the particle, viewport display, show emitter. You see it's working. Last step is to select the grass, add a new material. Assign the only material we currently have. Make a copy of this material and rename it. Now split the window and change one side to Shader Editor. 
Now we can adjust this node setup to get our desired result. I just want to have green or tan grass. Remove the color steps except of these two and change their position a little bit. Merge the windows again and enjoy your work. We have a brick looking landscape with grass on top. And that would be the end of this tutorial. In the next video I will show you how to adjust the plant particle system to get multiple objects and to get some variation in the object's Z rotation. Now you have reached the end of this video. But this doesn't mean you have to talk to real people. You may be interested in my new video over there. Or you could watch this recommended video. And as a last opportunity, there are many more videos for you at my channel.